So what is up guys, I am 63Z and I'm here on another little vlog kind of thing. I just did a, the little voicey thing for the, the one year thing for Maddie that I did. Um, this isn't going to be one of the Christmas vlog things. This is going to be a review kind of on Rainbow Six. This beast of a game, this beast of a game. So many new games that I actually want to play and I started to play I did one mission and recorded it for the, the Black Ops 3 campaign and I was going to do like a whole let's play thing where I record all the missions for it but I'm not anymore because it's just, it's annoying for me to do. If I decide I want to go back and do it, I will do it again um, and do it again properly but I'm just going to enjoy the campaign for itself and then maybe in time I might do one. But I've got Black Ops 3 to play, I've got Star Wars Battlefront to play and do all the solo things on that to do. I've got Halo 5 to finish and play online, and also this game to play, all the situations and the multiplayer. I've got four fucking games that I can play offline really easily and fucking multiplayer. What the fuck? I get a great connection on Star Wars. I just want to keep playing because it's a great fucking game. It's a great fucking game. But no one wants to play Star Wars with me, so I'm on my own. If I want to play Star Wars, I have no one to fucking talk to. No one ever talks on Star Wars, not even on the multiplayer. I have Halo 5. When that was first out, I had so many people that wanted to play with me. Toby. Fuck. Probably not as many as I thought. I had people that wanted to play with me. I had like four or five people that wanted to play with me, really. I just can't remember their goddamn names. But ever since COD came out, Toby doesn't want to play Halo. None of my friends want to play Halo. No one. I still probably get a great game. I haven't played it in about two weeks because no one wants to play with me. I want to play the campaign of it, but I need to keep editing the campaign. <sighs> So that you guys can see it, so then I can play more of the campaign, and then edit more, and then I want to play one campaign mission. And then I'll play the second campaign mission, and then I'll edit the first campaign mission. Then I'll play the th third campaign mission, then I'll edit the second campaign mission. Know what I mean? Okay, so I've at least got one I always need to edit. What? This calls for a buzz. And then I want to play online of that, but no one wants to play with me. I love Halo. I love Halo more than COD. I love Halo more than Star Wars, and I love it more than Re um, Rainbow Six. But then I also have COD that I want to play. Everyone wants to play COD, but my connection on it is never good. I always I always have an open nap time, but because of my struggle net, I never have a very good connection. So then I'm stuck there sitting like, oh, fuck me. But now, as of late, it's been getting a bit better for some reason. I don't know why. Nothing's really changed. But even then, half the time when I'm on, no one else that I want to play with is on. I have this beautiful fucking game. But yeah, the same thing with the Halo. The Halo, I want to do the same for the COD, but then I'm not actually doing the COD campaign anymore, so it doesn't really matter all too much. But then I had this beautiful fucking game, and I, re I, f I thought it was going to have like a campaign, but apparently it's a thing called Situations, where it's like kind of like a tutorial thing, um, but it's not. It apparently tells some kind of a story. The greatest thing about Rainbow Six is that it forces people to talk. It forces people to talk and communicate. Oh, I'm sorry. The things on Rainbow Six Siege, you've obviously got your multiplayer. That consists of casual mode, which is two different game types, which is just standard like a search and destroy that you'd find on COD, a rescue the hostage. I haven't played any other modes on it. I don't know how many maps there are on it as well. There's also ranked play. You have to be level 20, clearance level 20 to be able to play that. And I'm at, fuck, I'm like four. I haven't played that much. Um, then there's the private match where you can, you know, you can have a private match with your friends, you have to be, everyone has to be at least clearance level 5 to be able to do that. Then you've got these things called situations, and it's basically the campaign, but I don't know, I don't know really how to describe it. It's like teaching you each part of the game, but it's conveying a story at the same time. But I have, I've managed to find so many people that want to play Rainbow Six with me. Like, I can, like, I could probably cross off like a fair few right now. Like, there's, there's Blackfella, there's Bearers 40, there's Bearers Black. There's Undead Dan, there's Pint, there's fucking Crack Kraken, and there's Mr. Walks, and fucking, there's so many people, I can't even name them all. And they all just want to play, and I'm like, thank God, people want to play with me on this fucking game. But then, oh, I'm at the, uh, on, on the social ranking list, it's like, they've all been friends for a while, right? I've only recently met them, like, about a month or so ago, max, max. Um, except for Bearers 40, Bearers Black, uh, Undead Dan, and Blackfella. I met them all on the closed beta, yeah, in September. But it's like, they're all great friends, and I've just slid in down the bottom. But anyone who comes in that they're more friends with, obviously, it's f fair enough, because, you know, I'm not friends, great friends with them all. But they just slide in, so then when their friends come along, it's like, fuck, now I'm on my own. 
But then the other night I was playing online and I was fucking was beasting up. Well, not beasting, but I was going better than I usually do. I was actually going positive. Right? Oh, ow. I, I got a fair few like things and I was getting a hang of it all kind of thing and I played a couple situations and then I was playing some terrorist hunt. We'll get into that in a second. And then every time I go online, there's always people trying to communicate. But then there's always those couple people that are just like, fuck it, I'm not even going to try to communicate. I'm just going to be a dick about the situation. They're just going to rush in or they're just going to kill themselves or they're just going to give away the position or they're not going to be teamwork anything like that it's a great game to meet people on it's a fucking great great game but it's so hard it is so hard ah the gun the gun sounds are amazing fucking amazing like this game is online offline all those things and it's fucking beautiful 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 plays either the terrorists or the counter terrorists basically like six bro. But, but, it's it's kind of the same. But with it, you got the original Rainbow Sixes, like the Rainbow Six Vegas and New Vegas or whatever they're called. But then you've also, after the on the, the very, very online aspects, you can do another set of things called Terrorist Hunt. Now, Terrorist Hunt, if you've ever played Modern Warfare 3, it's basically like the survival mode on that. You've got, you can either infiltrate them or be infiltrated. I've never, I haven't gotten the one where you get infiltrated. I've always been doing the ones that you infiltrate. Right? So, you either go on your own, or you can go online. Now, the modes is normal, hard, and realistic. Realistic is a bitch on everything, even the situations. But I want to make sure I do all the situations on realistic, so I get the most out of a fucking cat. But I'm stuck on the third, and I can't fucking get past it. And then, like, Terrorist Hunt, it's a great game, but I get, I'm a, I'm a pussy. I'm a fucking pussy after watching so many goddamn horror movies that I just can't stand anymore, like fucking Scream, fucking Scary Movie 1, I can't stand Scary Movie 1 because of Scream. <laughs> I'm a pussy when it comes to horror movies, and I'm a pussy when it comes to horror games, and I'm a pussy when it comes to games on my own that can fucking scare me, because then you just hear the little <sighs> and then beep, 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 boom. and then there's just a fucking suicide bomber thing that just runs around a corner out of random, the only way you can kill him is by shooting him in the head like fucking five times. But then you can't really use your like assault rifle because it just goes and then you start missing and you've got to control it all and it's fucking hard. So the best way to do it is like he's a really strong fucking pistol. That if you miss one shot, then you're fucked. The game runs off for Renown. And Renown is basically like the, the money system in it. Then you've also got Rainbow Six credits, which are things to get like boosters or skins or anything like that. And it goes by clearance levels. So clearance levels are just basic levels. I don't know what the max is, but it's probably not very far after level 20. Then you've got like it runs off of Renown and like Siege credits and all that kind of thing. You use like 25 fucking operators. There's defending and attacking operators. You can't use any, in, in each round, you can only, one person can only use a, a certain type of operator. So if I was in the group of five, and the game actually runs up for 5v5s, so in all the modes, it's just five people. You have to have five people to base online. If I was to go into a game and I was with my friends and someone wanted to use Montague and someone wanted to use Sledge and someone wanted to use Doctor. I can't use Doctor if they're using Doctor. I can't use Montague if they're using Montague. I can't use Sledge if they're using Sledge. So you got to find someone that not everyone uses, but you like to use. But if you're going to get someone that everyone uses, you want to make sure that people you play with don't play with them. So Rainbow Six, you have to basically play with people you would normally play with a lot. It's, it's hard because if you don't have a group of friends that you stick to fairly well, like me, I, st I go to between a whole bunch of group groups. I've got like five or six pick friends with groups of friends on there that I like to play with for all these types of games. Two, 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 two co-op things, and I've got four co-op things, I've got five co-op things, and then there's also five game plays, and then six game plays, and all these other games that just creates dramas with trying to find someone to play with and stick with that one group. There's little cheat ways where you can get renowned quite easily. If you do the situations, you'll get 200 renown for doing each certain thing, and then if you do all the tutorials, which are a separate thing, you get 200 renown each. Each operator is 500 them. Every operator, because they're in five separate classes. I don't know what classes they are, but I know one is gigging. The, it goes, so every person you buy, it goes up another 500 points. So it's 500, 1,000, 1,500, 2,000, and then it's just 2,000 for the rest of it. But I don't think there's any more than two in each. I'm not sure. I actually think there's 20. It just goes off like that. So it's hard. The game is a very hard thing to do. Search and Destroy in itself is a fucking hard game to play, but then you've got to deal with... Okay, so the defenders, they have a choice that they can use, like, a deployable, sh a deployable shield that they can mount on the floor, then you can hide behind it, or they can use barbed wire. You can't use both. But then you can also get flashbangs, smoke grenades, stun grenades. Then you've got the, the operator's special abilities. So some of them have certain abilities that you can use. And the primary weapons consist of an, an array of assault rifles and an array of submachine guns. 
and then there's an array of pistols, but then there's some that you get to use Rachel. Rachel's so fucking helpful in this game, so fucking helpful. Like, oh, people, Tom Clancy. I don't, I don't think Tom Clancy's a single person, because he'd be a beast if he was a single person. But this company, Tom Clancy's, is a company, most likely. They've released so many good games, and they've got another three, before this game, they had three huge titles releasing within a year. Three huge titles releasing in a year between December this year and November next year. Rainbow Six, Ghost Wildlands, I forgot the third, fuck. The Division, The Division, ha! That's actually in beta coming out for that very soon. <sighs> My feeling on the game is that it's fucking hard, but it's so goddamn great, and it's addictive, it's addictive as fuck. I just want to keep playing it, because it's, it's so good to communicate with people in a fucking game for once. Like, you don't just rush in and try and kill everyone, it's like, you try and survey, and then you go to, oh my god. You can use cameras, you can use drones. There's no kill streaks. That's <sighs> damn sure. So it runs off like data centers. I, I've been switched around to multiple different data centers. In the closed beta, it didn't show it. In the open beta, I was on J and A multiple times. Like it just kept switching me. And it shows like your ping with that. And then in the game, it shows your ping. It's a very PC feeling game. Like you play it on console, you know it's meant to be a PC game. But it is a great game on console. It is a great game. As the open beta came to a close and the whole game came out, it I was I'm on now on like the the, the Oceanic server, or the European server, or something like that, I don't know. Um, they just give it like an acronym or something like that. But I generally get between 70 to 105 milliseconds of ping, which is shit to a lot of people. Yes, it is shit, but I'm used to that. I'm used to that, so I'm fine. I don't tend to use the shotguns because I feel like they're very... They'd be very good because it's close quarters, but I don't think they do as much damage as they should. I usually use the people that tend to have... Um, like a, a shield up, so I tend to use the pistols fairly often. But if I'm not using pistols, I tend to either use the P90, MP7, standard like assault rifle. But I generally don't use assault rifles as much. I, I tend to stick with the shield and pistol, or the, or this, or the submachine. This game, this game, this game. Fuck, I've run out of things. Um, and this game. <laughs> this is my struggle right now. I don't know what one to play. If you're watching this, follow me on Twitter. Send me, mention me, DM me, whatever. DM me, I'll add you on Xbox, and I will play with you. Don't worry, I will not ignore you. I need people to play with. Like, the ga I'm obsessed with games at the moment. I love games, and I physically... I'll, I'll show you the games I actually really want to play. Um, these are all the games I still really fucking want to play. Like, I haven't got a chance to play. Uh, there's fucking Watch Dogs, great fucking game. Dying Light, I said I was going to record that, but I never really got around to doing any more than one video, because I never know what to fucking do. Battle of Mordor, finish that, great game, I want to live stream it, don't need the internet to do it. Syndicate, me and Maddie are meant to do a series on it, but I don't know what to fucking do. The editing's hard, and it's a lot of effort. Great game, finish the campaign, fucking stuck on gladiator mode, want to live stream it, but don't need the internet, once again, and I kind of want to make another video on it. Then brings me back to Rainbow Six, Star Wars, COD, Halo, and Far Cry 4, this game's amazing. Maddie even likes it, she sucks at it, but she's good at it. Kind of. It's one I want to keep playing, but I don't know what to fucking do! Honestly, thank fuck, because I thought I just fucked that up. <laughs> right, as I, right after I finished talking about Far Cry 4, I picked it up to try and do like a hold the webcam kind of blog thing. Like, you know, where you hold your phone up like, I was doing that with the webcam and it just disconnected it, and I thought I lost the whole fucking thing because I tried to view it in like video media player and it only showed up three minutes, and I put it in fucking Premiere, it shows all 20 minutes, thank god. Um, but I really don't know what to play, I don't know what you guys want to see. If you're watching this, I want you to. Move that mouse down the fucking comment section and comment what videos you would like to see out of that goddamn list. I'm not even joking. And if there's a PC game, fucking suggest it. Oh, let's fucking see what Steam games I fucking have. Let's see what Steam games I have. Ooh. I think I have an unread chat message. PC games I have consist of. Okay, so. Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, Revelations, and 3, along with fucking Unity. <laughs> oh, the Syndicate. What does it look like? Besiege, uh, Besiege Alpha version, uh, the, the Betrayer, City Skylines, Color Sympathy, CSGO, Dishonored, Five Nights at Freddy 4, The Forest, Geometry Dash, Hawken, Honey Pop, Outlast, Park, Payday 2, Stalker, Slender, Sniper Goes to Warrior 2, Soma, Tory Bash, Total War Attila. I also have. Uh, if my heart had wings that I can install, I already played all the fucking Life is Strange, so I uninstalled it. Um, 
I have Half-Life 1 and 2. I just need to install a little. I don't know if I want to play them just yet. I'll probably do that on my actual PC. I want to make that. Uh, I have Gary's Mod, but I have no one to play that with once again. Um, I don't really don't want to play Dota. And I actually have the Age of Empires 2 HD edition. I really want to play that too. That's a really good game. That's my list of games right there that you can choose from. Thank you guys for watching the video. Like and subscribe. Send me your suggestions in the comments. Like the video if you enjoy. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video. Ready? 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 Do you like my nan's present? It's a baby cow. Uh, uh. My nan's Christmas present. What?